hi guys thank you very much for being part of this family it's an awesome family please don't forget to subscribe to the channel you are here because you want good content so please subscribe to the channel you'll be the first person whenever you upload a new video you'll be the first person to assess such videos my name is benji d Fluman and the channel is sports obama tv channel thank you very much please we are in a jubilation mood the whole continent of africa is in a jubilating mood what is the reason what is the cause because the atlas lions of morocco have done the lord's work they have qualified this continent i'm not even going to say they have qualified they have qualified this continent to the semi-finals of the fifa world cup for the first time ever in this competition's history this has never happened before no african country has been able to achieve that and morocco has become the first african country to achieve such milestone and this what celebrating that is why over 1.4 billion population on this continent everybody those who can write they are writing those who can speak they are speaking those who can jubilate i mean who whatever we can do to celebrate this achievement we are doing it and it didn't come just in a day wonder the morocco national team they have i mean planned this they have planned very well for this why am i saying this morocco as a country has invested a lot in football the king of morocco king muhammad deceased the monarchy they invested over 65.4 million dollars in football academy and morocco can now boast of the biggest football academy in africa national biggest national football academy in africa they started the, their football academy way back in 2007 and they started planning to upgrade it to an ultra modern center all the plans were made way back in 2010 and in 2017 they started the project in 2021 they inaugurated it and renamed it to ken muhammad deceased sports center and this is investment the monarchy made the commitment they shown commitment they showed them I mean, that commitment to their people and this was for the youth in morocco those who have interest in sports the king made it a personal project and now it is yielding resource morocco has put the african continent the african map on the world stage and this has been a historic moment for the people on this continent this tournament has been in existence for the past 92 years and no African country were, I mean, was able to show their power to reach the semi-final stage. And today, Morocco has done that. Morocco has done that. First ever African country to qualify to the semi-final stage of the World Cup. Cameroon tried in 1994. It couldn't work. It couldn't work. They only reached the quarter-final stage and they were cast, cast out from the tournament. In two, uh, 2002, Senegal, Ali Sisi was then the captain for the team. He tried his possible best, all that he could, and his team. But Teki showed them the exit from that tournament way back in 2002. And 2010, the miracle which never existed in world football happened in 2010 in South Africa on the African soil. The only campaigner the only african campaigner was ghana and thanks to luis abeto suarez from uruguay that save that handball and the memorable incident in that tournament the penalty that was missed by samojan prevented ghana from reaching their dreams ghana couldn't thanks to uruguay and that i mean moment we couldn't reach our dreams Ghana couldn't qualify for the semi-finals and we also reached the quarter-finals and we came home. But today, the historic moment, 
of the World Cup has happened. And thanks to Morocco for achieving that for this continent. They have done so well. I mean, they have done so well for this continent. And see, as I was telling you, today, because of Morocco, Ronaldo is crying. Ronaldo is shedding tears because of Morocco. I mean, his chance to get his hand on the World Cup trophy has been in vain because they couldn't qualify from this stage. And it is so sad for me seeing the goat of football, Cristiano Ronaldo, shedding tears. And it was so sad. Morocco this year alone, currently, they are, I mean, champ tournament holders, calf champions league winners or winners, calf confederation cup winners, calf super cup winners, women's champions league winners, and women's AFCON finalists. They were beatable in the AFCON, uh, the World Cup qualifiers. They have proved their worth. They have shown the rest of the uh, uh, African countries that see preparation is key in everything. Just prepare very well, plan your things well. You can let uh, I mean, you can't just wake up one day and assemble good players and send them to tournaments and achieve anything. If you have good players and you don't have a good team, you can't win anything. So, good players, good team, quality and competent coach with good tactics and plan can achieve something great for you. When you go to tournament and this is what morocco has exhibited and it is something worth emulating but i mean the rest of african countries we should take our football serious in do proper investment in infrastructures and in personnel let's invest in our players let's develop them very well so that we can achieve something greater when you go to such tournament and for the first time i'm so happy that the name africa will not be mentioning and attached with scandals, player indisciplines, money issues. But for the first time, an African country has been able to achieve the unachievable because we have reached the semi-finals of the World Cup. And this is something I'm so happy about as an African. I'm so happy. It doesn't matter I'm Ghanaian or see whether you are Ghanaian, Nigerian, whatever, you are from the Ivory Coast, all the Francophone countries, this achievement does not only belong to the Arab people, it is for this continent and the people of Morocco. We thank them for showing the way. They have shown clear that uh, indeed they are the gateway to Africa, the proper get, 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 gateway to Africa because they share border with the Europeans. So Morocco, <laughs> they are the proper get, get, gateway. They are the proper gateway to Africa. They have shown, they have shown their resilience and power and how football can sell your country. Thank you very much. And I believe this statement was from Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. He once said, the black man is capable of handling his own affairs. And this statement has been redefined and well explained by the achievement of Morocco that an Africa or an African can achieve something with no help for many european the coach is an african and he has achieved something something most african coaches couldn't achieve he has done it please Ose Muruku, Ose Muruku. thank you may god bless our homeland africa and make this continent great and strong thank you very much my name is benji please subscribe to this channel now and be proud partner and a member of this family. Thank you.